welcome. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for joining us. 76 in Mountain Home, Arkansas. Thanks so much for being a part of this show. And uh, you Are you sure we're in Mountain Home, not Death Valley? I, have you been in Death Valley? I know, but I'm assuming it's what it feels like outside. That's why I was Oh my asking. gosh, yeah. yeah. I've never been, no, I've never been in Death Valley, but my plants think they're living in Death Valley. We talked about that before the show. Yeah, yeah. and you just got back from Denver. Denver. I just got home from is, Denver yesterday. It's 83, folks. It's 83 today 83 in Denver. 83 is, no is a cold blast to compared yeah, to Yeah, compared to us with no humidity. It was yeah. uh, last Friday, because I think I told you, when I got up last Friday to run, it was 61 in the house. That was what the we had the windows open. They don't have any air conditioning. Because actually, said a lot of people don't have air conditioning. Oh yeah, because the nights get the nights get really chilly. cool, yeah. and uh, so the little house she's renting doesn't have air conditioning in it. And when I woke up Friday morning in the house, it was mm -hmm. 61 degrees with the windows open. And it was a little bit cooler than that outside. I got up and ran, and I said, "Oh, mom, the altitude nice. bothered you." I thought, "Shoot, altitude with no humidity, I'll take the altitude." Yeah. Well, so you know, we're great. having a we're having a heat. It may be the hottest day the ever in the history here, yeah. of this area. I'm sure it has been. I think uh, the last last time it was this hot was in the 80s. Yeah, in 19, I checked online, and in 19, it was like 84, 85-ish 84, 84, yeah. kind of thing. It hit 107 or 108. Yeah, I think we broke we've broken that. Right that. Yeah. I think we've broken that all-time hottest day ever. Mm -hmm. So get out and do something. Say you've managed to do that on the hottest day ever. Well, kind I don't of thing. know if I would recommend you getting out. For very long. Go to the mailbox. That'll work. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but it's hot enough. It, I mean, it is. It's hot I fed enough my for goats. Me. I fed my goats this morning, and, uh -huh. and it was a, it was a you know not very far walk to, to feed them. I have yeah. to take water and food up to them, but but when I came back, I almost had to change my shirt because it was just it was so, drenched. Out. Well, tell me about your downpour. When I was gone, and I sent you, I sent Dan a picture of a moose that we saw. Uh, for those of you who know my mom uh, over there in Yelva, we sent one to mother, but it was on her tiny cell phone. So we sent a she picture of a moose. She sends back, how big was that bear? <laughs> so it's like, Mom, it's not a bear, it's a moose. <laughs> so anyway, uh, her little tiny cell phone, but we did, we saw like six moose in this one little hike thing, and they were really close to us. So yep. I sent Dan a picture of my moose from uh, Denver, and he sends me a picture of his goats with a yep. downpour. Well, we had a little downpour. I think how it was long did Saturday. It last? Probably about uh, two hours off and on. Really? Just this weekend. It, it, we, it rained a little bit at our place, and you know, I have some goats, yeah. and they become just Yard pets. yard pets, I would yard assume, pets. And yard ornaments, kind of thing. But they don't like to the rain. They hate. You said to they be got wet. in the garage. They came in the garage and and uh, camped out until, camped the, out. until well, it was over. Good for them. Good for them. Well, I noticed when I got out of the car today, out here in front of the station, I smelled rain. You know that mm -hmm. smell that yeah. that and I could smell rain. So it's rain around here somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Well, but it's just not raining here. No. Well, maybe by the time people watch this show, with the heat will start to dissipate. It's supposed we'll... to. Today's supposed to be it, and then tomorrow the high's supposed to be like 98. Oh, that'll be uh, that'll be nice. Yeah, everybody's like, wow. Everybody, everybody will be out doing something Woo! this weekend. Good. Yeah, yeah. Good. it won't be too bad. I, but uh, I'll be gone this weekend. Again. 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 I'm going gone again. Remember. Now this is when you travel most of the time because you're out from from, from school. school. Yeah, so I'm out from school. So I'm uh, we go back to work on the 15th. So I'm trying to get all of my last minute running around done. Yeah. So. And where are you going? I'm going to Florida. Florida. Now you're going to fly down there? No, going to drive. Going to drive. You're going to drive. We're going to wow. drive down to Florida and spend a few days in Florida. Then we're going to spend a few days in Atlanta. And you've known this for weeks. Yeah. I won't be here next Wednesday. Oh, boy. I'll have You've to... known this for weeks, Dan. Okay. This was my well, vacation that's been on the calendar I, for a long time. I, I don't look at my calendar until okay. it, it pops a little message that says, uh, warning, warning. No. About hooray, hooray. Cut, no. Sandy's gone. Hooray, hooray. <laughs> I know what it says. Don't act like a warning. <laughs> But no, we're going to go to Florida and spend a few days just kind of hanging out on the beach, and then we're going to mm -hmm. go up to Atlanta and spend some time. I'm going to hang out with my sister. Uh, Courtney's going to go to a golf tournament. Okay. So that's it. Uh, That'll be good. Yeah. That'll I'm going to go one day and watch the okay. tournament, see if I can see someone famous and that sort of business. Well, but take a picture. Send, send I will. Maybe Phil Mickelson let, or let something me know what's like going that. On. It's the, somebody will send me a, like, you idiot email because it's like the USPGA Championship or USPGA. Oh, yeah. It's the last big one of the year. I'm not sure which one it is, but okay. it's the last big one of the year. And he's playing in the tournament? Oh, no. Court's not playing. He's going to play some while he's down there, <laughs> but the pros are going to be playing. So okay. I'm going to go and because I've never been to a professional golf tournament. Mm -hmm. So and I'm up for anything. I mean, you name it, I, the activity is good, good with me, especially I've never done it. So. I don't know if I'd enjoy it. I don't know the players. And I, I don't, oh, I, I mean, I don't keep up. I know the ones I like. I'm not a golf fan, per mm -hmm. se, mm -hmm. but court watches a lot of it, so I'm exposed to a lot. Well, good. And I like Phil Mickelson. Well, he seems like a nice guy. And uh, that Rory, Rory McElroy, is that what he's doing? I don't like know. That? Yeah, he's, he's like the, a new young phenom and some people like that. So. Well. So it'll be a golfing trip. For it'll you. be a golf, but I will be hanging out with my nephew, my lovely little. Let's see, he was it was a year last January, so he's like 19 months old, something like that, 19, 20 months old. He can talk. Okay. 
So, so you won't be here next Wednesday? No. Nope, I'll nope. have to find a, a unsuspecting uh, uh, guest to fill in your shoes. Like the, you the very first one that walks in the door, how about yeah, that? I'll and say, just say, uh, like, yeah. you're the one millionth. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Put a little confetti down. I like down, doing that. I, like doing that. I get to, I get, get to um, see people's uh, energy level. Well, like raise that a you, bit. Hit, you hit a winner when you got Joni that sure time. I sure did, yeah. And of course, is it Karen? Brenda Allen. Brenda. Brenda yes. Allen. Of course, she's got experience, though. She, she's yeah. done stuff yeah. like that she before. She had fun with it. Yeah, she had fun I with it. I call her back. Joni's a, a dandy. I call her back. Call Kathy. You're always wanting to blab with Kathy. I can. I can talk to anybody. Or let that them is, do it. That find is somebody true. to do all the talking. That is, yeah, find, find another Sandy. So sure. Build, and you can just sit there and look cute. That's that's all I do here. I, that's all I let that's you do. That's all I do. That's it's, it. it's cute. Go ahead, because later on I'm going to tell about the awards you're nominated for, so I can brag on you. You can. I will. I'll Hopefully brag on you. You'll forget before I the end of the next, show. But no, we want to we want to talk about who's on the show today. We've got a great lineup of uh, local guests. We've got Wilson Bowling, and is your wife coming on with us or not? She's not decided. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. But Wilson's going to be talking about a fundraiser for the Bull Shoals Theater, and we'll find out all about that. And then. Uh, do you want me to do this? Oh, no, I can go next. Go ahead. Uh, Jenny Nelson and Josh Cunha. Correct, Josh? Thank you. And it's At Your Service Animals, and they are here with Josie Rose and Thor. I have met them both. And so they're here to talk to us about service animals, which yeah. are very, very important. And I have always been constantly amazed at some of the things they can do. Wow. Yeah. Go ahead. Your turn. Oh, my turn? Okay. Yeah, turn and then Daryl Downs, uh -huh. North Central Arkansas Coin Club. they got a coin He's collection. He's been here before. We yes. have met him a couple times. Last, uh -huh. last year. And uh, we're going to talk. Uh, there's a local coin uh, club here. And we're going to be talking about uh, all the fascinating coins that they're going to be showing off at the Ramada Inn here real yeah. soon. And then Jamie last. Jamie Cooley, which is Area Agency on Aging of Northwest Arkansas. So I guess, is there a program? Are you just going to talk to us about the services? General information, probably. Just general information. Good deal. Now, I knew Jamie when she in her former job. Well, I know when she walked in, you were like, oh. Yeah. I, I, I heard you. I was like, I know you. I knew. I knew the name you looked didn't familiar. Pull the, haven't we met somewhere before line, <laughs> no, did I didn't you? pull that one. Didn't pull that yeah. one. What sign are you? <laughs> <laughs> you're smoother than that, aren't uh, you, Daniel? Smoother. Maybe, you're a little maybe smoother. A little smoother. Probably not. You're out of practice. Uh, <laughs> many years I'll out ask, of practice. I'll ask Betty what line you picked her up with, if she can remember. I don't know. Let's call her now and find out. Mm -hmm. Where was your she, first date? Uh, it was a blind date. Oh, well, then, oh yeah. well, so you just snookered her into it, did you? No. You met your really. wife on a blind date. Yeah. How cool. That's my, very nice. My cousin, his uh, girlfriend uh -huh. was Betty's best friend. And so, Did the four of you go out like the we foursome? We went to Silver Dollar City, actually, where we went. Well, we how spent nice. The day. Very yeah. good. Very good. That, that's a good first date. Ample time for conversation. Sure. Ample time for, in case we're not getting along, we got something else to do. Yeah, and it was quite awkward. <laughs> it was quite, quite awkward. You know. Quite Cause, awkward. Because they just left us together and says, you guys go on and do your rides and stuff. I was like, I don't know this person. Well, that's how you get to know them, Daniel. Well, it's not awkward. It's fun to meet well, new we people. Got, we got, apparently, we it got went well. Yeah, apparently, we got to know it went well. Two kids and 30-something years later, mm -hmm. apparently, it went well. 37 years. 37 happy years. Good deal. I'll uh, check with Betty on that yeah, number, but go ahead. Check on that. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, we're going to take our first break, and then we'll be talking uh, with Wilson Bowling about the fundraiser in Bull Shoals Theater. Stay with us.